So in an ideal world, I think we would all try and find ourselves a grass practice area, a grass area where we can actually strike the golf ball from to see the divot shapes and, and see how we're actually getting the golf ball a bit more realistic to what we would like on the golf course. But and not in an ideal world, a lot of us have to put, put up with actually hitting golf balls from the mat when we come and practice. Now some people suggest that the, the mats are harder to use, some people think they're easier to use. It really depends on, on how well you strike the golf ball. I think one of the crucial things we can assume when we're hitting off the mat is that the sound of the golf ball or the sound of the strike on the golf ball is probably the most important thing to us. You know, sometimes you'll get a bad strike but the ball will still fly up in the air. Now if you know that you've hit a bad shot but the ball's still gone, gone up in the air, try and discount that one in your head as not being a good shot. Tell yourself that on the golf course that would have been a poor contact. And I guess the, the, the biggest poor contact we see on the driving range is hitting a shot heavy. You know, catching the ground two or three inches before the ball in a very heavy position. So if I was swinging from this side, I'd be impacting the ground here. Now on the grass, particularly wet grass or long grass, that would get stuck and dig into the ground. On a driving range mat like this, the club's probably going to skip off the surface and actually hit the ball okay, maybe even catch it a little bit thin. Now if you see the ball go thin and you've topped it, you kind of think, well, how did I hit the ground and top the ball at the same time? That wouldn't happen on the golf course, but on the driving range it's because the club bounces off the surface. So I could actually hit quite a bad shot here, leaning back a little bit onto my right leg, which is the wrong thing to do, hitting the ground before the golf ball, but the ball I think might still fly. The ball still goes up in the air, but I've actually hit this a good six inches behind. I can see the mark on the mat. More importantly, I heard the sound. I didn't get a good clean contact on that one. I hit very early behind the golf ball. If I get a nice contact on this mat, there's a little bit more of a zip and a hit and I can look down again and see a little mark on the mat where I actually hit the ball in the right position. So listen for the sound off the mat as much as possible, make sure you're getting a good contact and you're not making mistakes and then presuming you've hit the ball okay just because it's gone in the air.